Today in our 2015 Chevrolet Impala, we'll be looking at our best hitch options. All right, we have two hitches here today. On the top, we have a Kurt Class 2, part number C12115. And on the bottom, we have a Draw Tight Class 2, part number 36538. Now our hitches are very similar, but there are some subtle differences between them. Both of our hitches today feature a 3,500 pound max trailer weight rating. However, our draw tight hitch has a 300 pound max tongue weight rating, whereas our Kurt hitch has a 350 pound max tongue weight rating. So it's a little bit higher. When we're using the Kurt hitch for a non-trailer application, such as for a bike rack or cargo carrier, Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. We have those straps available separately on our website if you need to purchase one. The draw tight hitch, however, does not need a stabilization strap, so it's one less thing you have to worry about. One thing the Kurt hitch has that the draw tight hitch does not offer is that it does come with a provided pin and clip. Now one other subtle difference that we have between our two hitches, the Kurt, our safety chain loop here, I can only really stick about two fingers in. If we go down the draw tight, I can stick three fingers in there. So if you have some larger diameter safety chains on your trailer, the draw tight might be a little bit easier for you to use. Kurt Hitch has a high gloss black powder coat finish, whereas the draw tight is more of a matte finish. Both of our hitches are a two-piece design that are bolted together that attach to the rear suspension and off the rear exhaust hanger bolts off the rear bumper support of the vehicle. There's no drilling required on either one of these hitch installations, just some minor trimming of the fascia. They attach in exactly the same manner to the vehicle, utilizing holes that are already existing on the vehicle. As you can see, there's ample room underneath our rear fascia, so we don't have to worry about having difficulties inserting a pin to secure our ball mount or any other hitch mounted accessory we may have, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. Now, one other nice feature about our hitches here today is that they don't stick out past our bumper. They're behind it a little bit, so you don't have to worry about running your shin into the back of the hitch when you're loading cargo into your trunk. Now, in summary, as far as weight capacity goes, our Kurt hitch may have a slight edge over the draw tight just because it does have a slighter, higher tongue weight rating of 50 pounds higher. The clearance is about the same, so they're both equal there. As far as towing goes, I would give the draw tight a very slight advantage just because it has slightly bigger safety chain loops, so it'll be easier to get your safety chains in there. As far as recreational use goes, I might be leaning towards the use of the draw tight just because I don't have to use that stabilization strap. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Chevrolet Impala. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.